For more stock news updates, remember to press the like button and subscribe. With that being said, let's get straight into the video. The S&P 500, which is one of the most widely followed stock market indices, undergoes rebalancing four times a year. This allows for the inclusion of new companies that are driving growth in today's economy. In recent rebalances, two companies that have shown immense potential in the artificial intelligence space have been welcomed into the index. These companies are Super Microcomputer and Palantir Technologies, both of which have recently experienced impressive growth. Supermicrocomputer made its entry earlier in the year, while Palantir Technologies joined the ranks this fall. What makes these two companies stand out is their direct connection to the artificial intelligence AI sector, a space that has been growing at an exponential rate. AI has become the cornerstone of technological innovation, and companies that are leading this wave are positioned for significant long-term success. Currently, analysts estimate that the AI market, which is valued at $200 billion today, could surpass the $1 trillion mark by the end of this decade. This suggests that the rise of AI is far from over, and that companies involved in this space are likely to benefit for years to come. Super Microcomputer, a company that operates largely behind the scenes, has established itself as a powerhouse within the AI data center industry. Super Microcomputer supplies the essential equipment that powers these data centers, from servers to workstations, making its role in the AI ecosystem indispensable. The company's strength lies in its ability to quickly integrate the latest technological innovations into its product line. One of the ways it accomplishes this is through close collaboration with leading chip designers. By partnering with these companies, Super Microcomputer can rapidly incorporate new technologies into its offerings. For instance, when NVIDIA releases its highly anticipated Blackwell chip later this year, Super Microcomputer's systems will be among the first to feature this innovation. This ability to adapt quickly to technological advancements has played a major role in the company's growth. Thanks to its strategic approach, Super Microcomputer has seen its earnings skyrocket in recent quarters. As the AI boom continues to accelerate, the company's financial performance has consistently exceeded expectations. In its most recent quarter, Super Microcomputer reported revenue of $5.3 billion. To put this into perspective, this figure surpasses the company's total annual revenue for the year 2021. This rapid growth has also translated into significant profit gains, with net income for this quarter rising by 82% to $353 million. This strong financial performance has been driven not only by the company's partnerships with major chip makers, but also by its expertise in emerging technologies such as direct liquid cooling. Direct liquid cooling is a revolutionary technology that it enables data centers to operate more efficiently by reducing the heat generated by high-performance computing systems. As AI applications become increasingly sophisticated and require more processing power, the demand for more efficient cooling solutions is expected to grow. Supermicrocomputer's expertise in this area positions it to capitalize on this emerging trend, which could fuel the next phase of growth for the company. However, despite these strengths, Supermicrocomputer is facing some challenges that investors should be aware of. Recently, the Wall Street Street Journal reported that the U.S. Department of Justice has initiated an investigation into Super Microcomputer. This investigation follows a report from Hindenburg Research, a well-known short-selling firm which raised concerns about potential issues within the company. The Hindenburg report made several allegations that painted a negative picture of the company's operations. In response, Super Microcomputer issued a statement rejecting the claims, stating that the report contained false or inaccurate information. While the company's rebuttal may provide some reassurance to investors, the ongoing Department of Justice investigation could continue to cast a shadow over the company's stock in the near term. This situation highlights the importance of conducting thorough research before making any investment decisions. On the other hand, Palantir Technologies, another newly added stock in the S&P 500, has carved out a niche for itself by helping organizations, businesses, and governments make better use of their data. Palantir's software solutions enable clients to aggregate and analyze vast amounts of data, which can lead to transformative outcomes. By providing insights that help organizations streamline operations, reduce costs, and improve efficiency, Palantir has become an invaluable partner to many of its clients. This has led to the company's rapid expansion across both government and commercial sectors. Initially, Palantir relied heavily on government contracts for the majority of its revenue. In fact, for many years, government contracts were the lifeblood of the company. However, in recent years, the company has diversified its revenue streams by aggressively expanding into the commercial 
commercial sector. The results have been impressive. Just four years ago, Palantir had only 14 commercial customers in the United States. Today, that number has grown to nearly 300, a clear testament to the increasing demand for Palantir services. This growth has been fueled in part by Palantir's integration of artificial intelligence into its software platforms. Last year, the company launched its artificial intelligence platform, a move that has proven to be a game changer. The integration of AI into its systems has not only improved the performance of Palantir's products, but has also attracted a larger customer base. As a result, the company has seen a dramatic increase in both revenue and customer count. In the most recent quarter, Palantir's U.S. commercial revenue surged by 55%, while its commercial customer count grew by 83%. This strong growth in the commercial sector is complemented by continued revenue gains from government contracts indicating that both segments of the business are contributing to the company's success. In fact, Palantir recently reported a net income of $134 million, marking the highest quarterly profit in the company's history. Looking ahead, Palantir appears well positioned to benefit from the growing adoption of AI across various industries. As more companies and government organizations seek to leverage AI to become more efficient and competitive, Palantir's products are likely to be in high demand. This suggests that the growth trends the company has experienced in recent quarters may only be the beginning of a much larger opportunity. Both Supermicrocomputer and Palantir Technologies have proven their ability to thrive in the fast-growing artificial intelligence market. Supermicrocomputer's strong presence in the AI data center space, coupled with its partnerships with major chip designers, makes it a critical player in the AI ecosystem. Meanwhile, Palantir's expertise in data aggregation and analysis has made it a leader in helping organizations optimize their operations. Both companies have strong long-term growth prospects, but from a valuation perspective, Supermicrocomputer appears to offer a better deal. The stock is currently trading at 14 times forward earnings, while Palantir is trading at over 100 times forward earnings. However, it is important to note that Supermicrocomputer faces some headwinds, including the ongoing Department of Justice investigation. As a result, more conservative investors may want to wait for further clarity before investing in Supermicrocomputer. On the other hand, Palantir's strong growth growth trajectory and expanding commercial customer base could make it a more attractive option for those looking for a safer AI investment. Ultimately, the decision of which stock to invest in comes down to individual risk tolerance. Supermicrocomputer offers significant potential upside, but the legal challenges it faces make it a riskier bet. Palantir, while more expensive from a valuation standpoint, offers a clearer growth path with fewer near-term uncertainties. Investors looking to capitalize on the AI revolution may want to consider both stocks, but should carefully weigh the risks and rewards of each before making a decision. For more stock news updates, remember to press the like button and subscribe. With that being said, I will see you in the next video.